वेलकम बैक गैस इन दिस वीडियो आई एल पी अपडेटिंग माई फ्रेम जनरेशन गाइड फॉर मोस्ट हंटर वाइल्स विल शो यू हाउ टू यूज डी एल एस एस फॉर अप स्केल इन कंजंक्शन विद एक्स सी एस एस फॉर एफ एस आर फ्रेम जेन विद द फॉर्मर एक्स सी एस एस लो लेटेंसी मोड विल वर्क एंड विद द लैटर एंड मीडिया रिफ्लेक्स विल वर्क द गाइड विल वर्क ऑन एनी पी सी विद एन आर टी एक्स जी पी यू आई एल टेस्ट द गेम ऑन माई विंडोज पी सी डेट हैज एन आर टी एक्स टू जीरो सेवन जीरो सुपर जी पी यू एंड अ राइजन फिफ्टी need to use re framework in order to get opti scale mode working in this game unfortunately re framework menu still does not pop up when using opti scale xcss frame generation opens up fine when using fsr frame gen in this game both in game fsr frame gen and mod fsr frame gen produce some flickering around a character shadow during fast visual motion this flickering is not present in the case of xcss frame gen I'll be using the latest preview 5 version 0.9 build of Opti Scaler mod that fixed the head flickering issue caused by XCSS frame gen. But in this game I still observe some graphical artifacts around our character's head when using XCFG. The artifacts become more noticeable at lower FPS values. These artifacts were not present in the case of FSFG. This game is notorious for its poor performance. It has received many updates since its release. including a performance improving update but the game's performance is still very average the game received a major update a couple of weeks ago in the form of update 3 it was followed by a few more small updates this is the latest update version 1.030.02.01 now the game is not crashing with opti scale mod the developers are planning to release update 4 in the month of december it will include optimization for cpu and gpu Yeah, this game really needs it. Download the latest preview five version zero point nine two zero two five one zero three one build of Opti Scaler from their Discord server. I'll give the link to it in the description. Click on the dot .cmc link here. The game comes with an older version of TLSS for Opti Scaler with TLSS Auto Explorer setting disabled. I tried overriding TLSS Opti Scaler to the latest version via NVIDIA app. It did not work, so I'll manually update it. Just download the latest version of the Opti Scaler from Tech Power Ups website. Click on download here. Click on any of these servers. Download will start. Download the latest nightly build of RE framework from GitHub. I'll give its link in the description. Expand the assets section. Just click on mhwilds.zip file. Download will start. We'll use TLSS debug overlay to verify the Opti Scaler's details. I'll activate the overlay by executing this registry code provided by Emus. Select and copy the files. Create a new text file anywhere on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file. Right click. Open with Notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on File, Save, Close, and run this registry file. Select it. Right click. Open. Yes. Okay. First, I'll install RE Framework. Just open mhfiles.zip file that you downloaded earlier. Copy this TLL file. De input it. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage. Click on Browse Local Files. This will open the game's installed directory. Paste the file here. That's it. Now I'll install Opti Scaler mod. Just open its archive file. Select the highlighted files. Opti Scaler dot ini mods configuration file. Opti Scaler dot dll mod loader file. Label xcss underscore fg dot dll. Xcss frame gen file. Tx land version of xcss super resolution not required. libxcss. tll xcss super resolution file for tx12 and vulkan apis libxcll. tll xcss low latency mode file fake nv api. ini fake nv api. tll fake nv api is required for replacing in game reflex implementation with xcss low latency mode nucam 9 smart not required don't need to use vulkan version of fidelity fx file select all of the tx12 versions of fidelity fx files right click copy Open the game's install directory and paste everything here. Replace. Just need to change the name of optiskiller.dll file to dxgi.dll. Select the file, right click, rename, type dxgi. Mod has been installed. Now I'll update the in-game DLSS upscaler. Just open the upscaler sake file that you downloaded earlier. Copy this TLL file nvngx underscore TLSS. Paste it in the game's install directory. You just need to replace the existing upscaler TLL file. Paste, replace. Highlight the file. It will show the upscaler's version 310.4.0.0. 
Enabling hardware related GPU shuttling setting is not a mandatory requirement for using XCFG, but if you have an RTX GPU, it's recommended to enable this setting. Right click anywhere on the desktop, click on display settings, click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings, enable hardware related GPU shuttling setting from here. If your monitor supports VR, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on Manage 3D Settings, click on Program Settings. From this drop down bar, select Monster Hunter Wilds. Scroll down to the end, enable vSync from here. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on Setup G-Sync and enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. Enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator. This step is optional. Click on Display and check this setting. G-Sync compatible indicator. We'll be using Afterburner and RTSS to show you the performance stats. Just open RTSS, click on Setup here, scroll down to the end. Make sure enable frame rate limiter and inject NVIDIA Reflex Latency Marker settings are disabled. Enable use Microsoft D2's API hooking setting. We are ready to run the game. RE Frameworks menu will get initialized at Game Startup. That work. Insert key is the toggle key for both RE Framework and OptiScaler mod menu. So I'll just change the toggle key for RE Framework. Expand configuration section. Click on menu. I'll just use delete key as the toggle key for RE Framework. Press delete key. That work. Display mode set to borderless window required for using XCFG. Full HD resolution. No FPS gap applied. Vsync off. Reflex on. Using the game's low graphics preset, upscaler DLSS, FSR frame gen disabled, no access to DLSS frame gen on RTX 2070S. Using the upscaler's quality preset, ray tracing of other settings. Make sure variable rate shading is disabled. Volumetric fog set to low, rest of the settings set to off, post processing effects. Once the game loads up, just press the insert keyboard key to open OptiScaler menu. There it is. I'll increase its size. Click on the drop down bar next to menu UI scale. Set the value to 1. Upscaler DLSS version. It's shown here 310.4.0. Shown in DLSS debug overlay as well. Input in game DLSS upscaler TXG spoofing off. DLSS auto explorer setting is off. This setting helps in reducing ghosting around the objects in the environment. Also fixes texture shimmering effect produced by shiny objects. Just enable DLSS auto expose setting by checking the setting auto exposure under init flag section. Base resolution 720p upscale to full HD resolution. Render preset used is K. It's the transformer model of DLSS 4. Frame generation disabled for the time being. You do not adjust the game's image sharpness using OptiScaler mod. RCS does not work properly in this game. Show you a wide screen. I'll also enable OptiScaler's performance overlay. Expand FPS overlay section. Check this setting FPS overlay enable. Full plus graph scale 1.3. Save and add. Close. Quickly show you the base game performance. I'm in the lobby area. A lot of NPCs here. And oh my god, we are getting around 45 FPS. This is so disappointing. Hitting the GPU bottleneck. VRAM usage is around 5.8 GB. I'll just leave the cave. Performance is bad even in the open world. Call my secret. It will lead us to our objective. The monster that we are hunting. There it is in the background. Yeah, in the open world, FPS dropped to around 40. So many updates since the game release. Still the performance is bad. Graphics look bad as well. Can't do much about it. Now I'll show you how to enable FSR frame gen via OptiScaler mod. In this way NVIDIA Reflex will also work. Just open OptiScaler mod menu. The game supports DLSS frame generation and streamline version 2.7. So DLSS G via streamline frame generation source will work just fine. We won't be required to deal with hard fix. Click on the drop down bar next to FG source and select DLSS G via streamline. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select FSR FG as the option. Save and I close. We start the game. Play. 
after restarting the game you need to enable the in-game TLSS frame generation setting just set frame generation to TLSS two times once the game loads up just open OptiScaler menu check this setting active under frame generation FSRFG this will enable FSR frame gen quickly show you FSR frame gen debug view displays are working properly for all of the images no HUD elements are visible in the bottom middle image. Games HUD element should not flicker with FSR frame gen enabled. DLSS debug overlay is visible. Just disable it after verifying the upscaler's details. The color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. Smoothing effect of FSR frame gen should work properly. Disable debug view. Open RE framework menu. Yeah, it's working. Works with OptiScale FSR frame gen. Okay, in the cave we are getting around 70 to 80 fps. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Just observe our character's head. His head is not flickering. Not observing any ghosting around the character model. I'll venture out into the open world. FPS is still within a range of 70 to 80. During combat it will drop down to as low as 60. 60 bit frame generation. Just observe a character shadow, yeah, it's flickering. There, this flickering effect is produced even by the in game FSR frame generation up to AMD to fix this issue. Okay, I'll engage in combat. Use some fancy moves. FPS mostly stayed within the range of 70 to 80. Now I'll switch to XCFG. Open the mod menu. Make sure TLSSG via Streamline is selected as the frame generation source. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG as the option. Save and I close. Again, we need to restart the game. Play. Again, you need to make sure that in game frame generation setting is set to TLSS two times. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu and check this setting active under Frame Generation XCFG. This will enable XCSS Frame Gen. Frame time graph will become thick like this. Check debug view. If XCSS Frame Gen is working, you'll see these purple sidebars. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness. Uncheck debug view. Show detected UI setting. Yeah, it will highlight the game's HUD elements. Pink in color. See? I'll also use xcss inspector app to verify the status of xcss features just uncheck show detected ui setting minimize the game run inspector app select the game from this list double click xcss frame generation context it's running xcll context low latency mode is on can see the valid frames getting generated all good here back to the game in the cave fps is within a range of 75 to 90 now just observe our character's head. Some flickering is produced around it during fast visual motion. FSR frame generation didn't exhibit this texture flickering. This flickering effect becomes more noticeable at lower FPS values. Leave the cave. Smoothing effect is very consistent. XSS frame gen's latency is slightly lower than that of FSR frame gen. Observe a character shadow, yeah, it's rendered properly. No flickering is going around the shadow. Sure are a lot of monsters there. FPS dropped to around 70. Oh my god, the game's performance is so bad. I really hope update 4 improves the game's performance significantly. It really needs it. Sneak attack. Suttering is not an issue. That's good to see. VRAM usage is close to 6 GB. Launch version of the game used to consume more VRAM. VRAM usage was optimized via an update. With XCSS frame generation, I cannot open RE framework menu. It's not opening. Before ending the video, I'll show you how to disable TLSS debug overlay. Need to edit overlay.reg file that we created earlier. Select the file, right click, open with notepad. Replace number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file right click open yes okay that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day